Mitch, I, I'm always interested to see, um, especially someone who isn't used to playing um, foreign players as much, is the, the banning phase, because it can always be a little bit right. of, of a roadblock going forward. Yep. But it looks like we're just going to keep it simple here. Zelda resetting the controller, make sure everything's right. Got Shulk here, too. We'll see how Zelda can deal with this uh, Monado Demon. I am a, I'm a Zelda main, and I struggle with Shulk. So one of those characters that can space real well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he caused some trouble, so we'll see how Lyra can deal with it. This is interesting, too, because I feel like, yeah, obviously starting with the speed here, I feel like the horizontal uh, area of this stage is going to be utilized so, so well by uh, that speed mount, I don't know. And especially even, like, jump to cover, like, the big horizontal area with all your aerials. Oh, absolutely. I also think that that's that, uh, the size of the stage is going to benefit Zelda a little bit, too, especially giving her room to set up Phantom, giving her room to throw out some of the... Uh, the wow. I was dash tacking, like at under 100%, almost killing there. Ooh, catching the roll, but not ready to punish. Speed online here, get a breakthrough. That was kind of a lagging option, especially when you got the speed online, too. Komi going to take a firm lead. Getting aggressive at the ledge there, so is Lyric. Trying to read an option, probably like the, it was at roll distance, so probably that's what she was looking for. Ooh, that falling up air, though. Oh, no. That smash out, it's always scary <laughs> yeah. to be in that spot. Oh, trying to catch a higher jump, but actually going to get the up smash afterwards. So that, was, read on that. that was great recognition. Trying to get that startup of Nair. Oh, we're going to get hit. Stuck at ledge. Going high. Stage positioning. Oh, just Ooh, I like to switch the shield, too. So if you did get contacted by anything, you're going to be able to live Fine, that. yeah. Big boy when he got that shield. Off. Waiting for the roll, and then get a approach the forward air, too. Keep Lyric at ledge. That dash attack is such a good zone break. Yeah, it really is. Good job reading reading where he was going to fall, catching him with the up air, and taking the first top. Got and some work to do to come back here, but. And honestly, the Guardian covered all of the landing space there, so, so Kome had to jump, and the up air was perfect. That's absolutely a tool that Zelda would like to take advantage of. Oh, you saw the, the, the one hit of the Nair popped up perfectly, but no punish coming. Yeah, got caught there. <laughs> Living a pretty high percent there. Don't even really need Smash Monado to get that one. how much that. He's utilizing those Monados. Only two of them are remaining. Kind of sat there like, what do I, what do I got left? Right. <laughs> Cover the space. Space perfectly, though. Komei knew how long Guardian could go and stood as far away as possible. Trying to get the timing there again. Komei coming up aggressively. Oh, I, I love the cross-up Nair on shield to just kind of mix up the opponent's block and don't know if they can, how they can come out of shield. Look at those, those aggressive short hops, just putting the pressure on, making Lyra just wonder where he's going to go. And um, a character like Zelda will struggle with that just because the out of shield options can either hit and be real powerful, but if you miss, you are in big trouble. Getting really aggressive here, though, too. Mixing Kome up. Ooh, trying to get the second hit of Uppy. Yeah, that teleport is one of those two that can uh, it's high risk, high, mm. high risk, high reward. Ooh, gonna get caught there on this one. A little bit haphazard. Gotten caught going high from ledge before. Not going to get caught there, but continuing the edge guard. Ooh, the run up and close shield was so sick because yeah. you're thinking grab there, but then just um, for Lyric to roll into that and then he is ready for the punish. Pretty, pretty sick. But we did see that um, usually players kind of uh, bow out whenever the, the going gets tough like that. We saw Lyric kind of just put the pressure on as much more as possible, trying to reach deeper into the mix-up tree and uh, get something started, and I like that. Yeah. We'll see if those mix-ups work out here in a game two. We went to PS2 for the first game. Did not catch where we were going here. I always forget to come so Battlefield, fast. there we go. Yeah, starting off speed Manado again. But you see Lyric immediately comes down and starts to occupy area, making sure you can't run. Yep. And I think that that is definitely a tool she could utilize more, is just setting up that Phantom. Because all it does you know you're not always going to hit with the Phantom, but all it does is take away some of their options. It forces them to go somewhere. It makes that game a rock, paper, scissors you're playing. It's a little more advantageous. But the thing is, with a character like Shulk, who's got that speed, it's hard to do, especially at a, at a stage with a little less room like that. Right. Oh, you saw how fast. And then, again, waiting for the roll. You saw the, the quick dash dance, and then Lyric feels like something has to be done. Call me ready to punish. He's been playing very, very conservatively on the ledge guard. Zelda has Ooh. some abilities to, to drop deep and try and try and finish him off, but she's been decided to set up Phantom, play it a little safe, use some dins, and um, you know, Komi's Ooh. been able to get up Caught. very easily. Caught with a Nair here. Ooh, I love that the dash dance. Might, maybe could have got a grab there if the dash wasn't there. 
Ooh, Just to... missing with that. Yeah, yeah. those down air, um, yeah. especially even weak hit on the ground, can do some really crazy combo openers. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like the Guardian actually kept the Nair out longer, able to yeah. get the hit. Yeah, the Guardian will, will do that as well. You know, a lot of people forget that that has a hitbox. That'll tie you up. Ooh, that's going to kill. Teleporting high, going to get caught by forward tilt. Ooh, caught there, stuck on the platforms. Yeah, that, that might have killed at some other stages. I'm trying to force an option here too. So getting up at the perfect time and then shielding. Barely spaced outside of the forward smash from Zelda. Able to get out of the corner though is Lyric. Run up grab, that's smart. You saw shield come out a lot after getting up from ledge from Kome. Great Finally response. able to finish off with the dead fire. One of those attacks that got lost. Well, that's Nair in a double forward air. Gonna jump out. The, the, the weak charge, the little, yeah. the, the, the tiny mix. That can be used absolutely as just a get away from me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, preemptive air slash there. Oh, a little aggressive coming down with the down air. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you have a pretty big lead here too, so you can you can kind of work with the more aggressive Monados, try to get your uh, this game over. Yeah, Lair definitely has to play this game on Komei's turn right now. Mm -hmm. This back throw, yeah, set up for some stage. I think switch to jump, probably looking to see if Lyric would go high there and then try to scout from there. Oh, yeah, the, the up air hunt and then up smash is a good read on like maybe an air dodge from the up air. Read the roll that yeah. time perfectly. A lot of roll reads coming yep. out from that game. But Lyric, uh, a lot of mix-ups were had. It just didn't feel like, uh, didn't feel like Kome really wanted to uh, yeah. let her get in. Yep. I think Kome did a great job there just knowing that he had the spacing options.